我哋而家。好啦 ，Let's um resume our meeting. Commissioner Pei,、uh, we accepted your explanation. When we、uh, take evidence,、uh, we will be、uh, doing so separately. Thank you. All right, then let's get started、uh, formally the、uh, public hearing. I would like to invite、um, the director of audit. Now, this is something of concern to the whole community.、Uh, they would like to find out on what this、uh, report is all about.、Um, director, will you set the scene for us and for for members of those、uh, in front of the television? Will you brief us、uh, on the report and、uh, what it is all about? Thank you, Chairman. Chairman, honourable members, following the tabling of the Director of Audits Report Number 60 in the Legislative Council on April the 17th, 2013, there were a number of media reports on various expenses of the Independent Commission Against Corruption or ICAC. I would like to take this opportunity to explain the scope of our audit review in order to collaborate with the. Public Accounts Committee's deliberation of the audit findings in Chapter Seven of the report. The ICAC has three functional departments, namely the Operations Department, the Community Relations Department (CRD), and the Corruption Prevention Department. Our review covered only the work of the CRD in providing preventive education and enlisting public support against corruption. We did not examine. Other activities of the ICAC. This review was planned and performed in accordance with our established procedures. Our value for money audits are intended to provide independent advice and recommendations about the cost effectiveness with which any government bureau, department, or agency has discharged its functions. In our identification. And selection of potential subjects for inclusion in the audit plan, a number of factors such as timeliness, material materiality, and whether an audit has previously been carried out, etc., are taken into account. In mid 2011, we noticed that according to the ICAC survey, more than half of the respondents. Commented that publicity and education work for anti-corruption should be strengthened. In addition, we had not carried out an audit of any ICAC functional department previously. We therefore included the CRD of the ICAC as a subject in our audit plan. We commenced the audit in October 2012 and completed it in about five and a half months. The review has focused on three areas, namely preventive education, enlisting public support, and strategic planning and performance measurement. We have found room for improvement in each area. In particular, the CRD needs to a step up preventive education efforts on building management and review whether more owners' corporations should be reached. For providing preventive education, b review the need to provide more preventive education to the bureaus or departments and public bodies having corruption complaints. C help electors better understand the legal provisions and review the publicity and education campaigns, and d review the strategies. And resource deployment for enlisting public support, and set appropriate targets for the numbers of organisations and people reached by its publicity campaigns. In connection with our review of the publicity programmes of the CRD, we have reviewed a number of major events organised by the CRD over the past three years. As mentioned in paragraph 3.22 of the audit report, in examining the expenses for two events. We noted that there were inadequacies in the control over the expenditure for two dinners for an event held in December 2011, i.e., the International Anti-Corruption Public Service Announcement Video Competition and Workshop. The two incidents revealed that the ICAC's Commission Standing Orders 
had not clearly specified that a the controls over the expenditure on official entertainment should be applied to lunches or dinners whenever they form part of the publicity and education program, and b the costs of all food and beverages should be included as part of the lunch or dinner expenditure for control purposes. We have recommended in the audit report that the I ICAC Commissioner should tighten the control over the expenditure on official entertainment. The Commissioner ICAC has agreed with the recommendation in Chapter 7 of the audit report. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Sun, for that uh, summary. The, the PAC is the Standing Committee of the Legislative Council. And, and we have our powers, and we would exercise our powers according to uh, uh, established procedures. And as the chairman, I'd like to remind members that the PEC's job is to review and follow up on the uh, audit reports and to find out the facts, and that we should we we should submit our recommendations as to how improvements could be made. I understand that members may have many other questions they would like to ask, or that uh, in this report and the questions that we uh, will ask, members may ask questions. But if you have any other questions, I will allow members to ask such questions. If you could. Uh, <coughs> uh, 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 convince me that the questions are actually related to the uh, uh, value for money audit. So we will try our best to accommodate members. But if you have any other questions you'd like to ask, please explain why you would need to ask such a question, the, and whether or not it, it has to do with the value for money audit. And. Uh, and other than the 20 questions and the 20 answers uh, contained in the report, so that our witnesses will be able to answer your questions and find out uh, the, the source of the questions, because they're here to help us to, to, to uh, uh, establish the facts. So now uh, I would like to invite Mr. Pei to First of all, uh, you know, say I understand that you have actually a speech which has been tabled earlier. First of all, we will welcome the uh, director of audits, uh, uh, commit audit the audit commission's uh, audit on the ICC's preventive education and enlisting public support against corruption. Uh, where the audit was done from the 4th of October 2012 to the, to the 13th of March 2013. Uh, and we are grateful to the Audit Commission for many of the recommendations and report, which we fully accept. We've already seriously followed up on these uh, 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 recommendations and uh, where uh, uh, there have been shortcomings uh, in our procedures and guidelines. We've already rectified uh, uh, such uh, inadequacies and, and, and strengthened our uh, procedures and guidelines. Ever since the ICC has set up, <coughs> uh, we have adopted a three-pronged approach through enforcement, community education and preventive education in, in, in order to <coughs> uh, win the support both locally and in, in the international community. Through the CRD, the CRD actually is responsible for community education and in order to build up <coughs> A clean society. We cannot just rely on enforcement. We also have to pro promote among the public uh, the sense of integrity and that uh, they should adopt a zero tolerance against corruption and that they should be willing to report corruption and that we should also promote a culture of integrity among different sectors and public organizations. Through our sustained efforts to promote uh, in integrity, uh, it has now become one of our core values, and according to the survey undertaken by the ICAC, 98-99% uh, of the members of the public support the work of the ICAC. The audit report mentioned that recently the CRD 
and organize uh, have cut down on a number of uh, uh, activities in relations to owners in corporation, public organization, employees and youths. Uh, I could emphasize that this does not represent that we are actually relaxing uh, in respect of our community education efforts. In fact, we have to change for the times <coughs> and also uh, we have to actually ad uh, adopt new measures by leveraging on new technology, for example, by using the internet and new media uh, to uh, promote the message of uh, anti-corruption in a more effective, cost-effective manner. In order to uh, given that the public has high and high expectations of the uh, public education service of the ICAC, the, the CRD has de redeployed its resources from uh, community activities so that uh, they can uh, adopt a more targeted approach. For example, uh, coming up with guidelines for uh, directors and also uh, and also for guidelines for SME and, and and also practitioners in the financial industry, property agents and insurance agents. Uh, recently, we've also adopted the train the trainers approach. That is, organisations first of all <coughs> uh, send their staff to attend our training sessions, after which they will disseminate anti-corruption messages to the colleagues or through the <coughs> training videos pr pr produced by the CRD or by distributing the uh, information relating to uh, the prevention of corruption. For public organizations, in 2012, the ICAC, through such indirect training modes, uh, have resulted in more than 18,000 civil servants and members of staff of the public organizations to uh, have access to such information regarding uh, the integrity and the prevention of uh, corruption. Youths are also an important target for the CRD and ex exactly because of that we need to uh, be uh, develop our promotion strategies in order to achieve better results. For example, previously we would organize talks in schools but now we are adopting more interactive uh, uh, methods including the organization of uh, <coughs> drama troops to go to more close to 300 secondary schools to <coughs> stage uh, uh, interactive uh, drama performances and we've also uh, launched uh, a, an integrity ambassador scheme among the tertiary institutions as <clears throat> there are more and more uh, economic and trade relationships between Hong Kong and the mainland and also uh, in response to the international community's concern about uh, the need for preventive education, the CRD had committed resources on uh, cross-border and international uh, <clears throat> uh, corruption prevention education activities. Since 2008, uh, the ICAC and the uh, the Mainland's uh, Commission on Supervision and the Commission Against Corruption in Macau have jointly organized uh, anti-corruption seminars. In 2011, uh, we also organized, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, competitions uh, uh, and workshops. And regard, well, the there were two dinner receptions which have caused uh, concern of the Audit Commission. Over the years, with the uh, mm, uh, permission of the Commissioner, the CRD would uh, procure mm, alcoholic beverages uh, if, in order that they could be used on official receptions. We do, did this because normally the restaurants would charge a higher fee for such uh, alcoholic uh, beverages and if we were to buy them beforehand it would be cheaper. Our staff's understanding is that uh, <clears throat> these uh, alcoholic beverages were purchased upon the permission after they've obtained commission from the commissioner. Therefore <clears throat> the expenses on these uh, beverages were uh, uh, booked separately from the expenses uh, uh, spent on on lunches and restaurants. From 2003 to 
2003-04 to 2012-13, the CRD organized 548 official functions and only on 12 occasions uh, were, uh, where the, there were only 12 occasions where the uh, Expenses on the drinks were not included in the overall cost, and only among and, and out of those twelve, only four, uh, four occasion, there were four occasions where the expenses on the alcoholic drinks have exceeded the limit for the amount uh, spent on uh, lunch and dinner receptions, and the, on average, the over expenditure was eleven dollars to one hundred thirty dollars per capita. The Director of Audit also <coughs> uh, has responded by saying that the, what the ICAC did did not, uh, <coughs> were not against the rules, but there were some great areas. For example, according to the ICAC standing orders, it was not clearly stated, uh, uh, there was no um, clear distinction between uh, food and beverages such as dessert and wine, and that the expenses on the latter should be separate from those uh, on on uh, meals. We admit that there are such uh, practices were not fully uh, in compliance with the relevant uh, regulations laid down by the government and and that the, our internal guidelines were not clear enough. But the ICAC uh, colleagues have, did not intentionally try to hide such expenses and, 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 and did not deliberately try to split up the <coughs> expenses uh, into separate uh, invoices. The ICAC admit that uh, public funds should be spent prudently and that uh, we agree that uh, for the same items, uh, all other items including drinks and desserts should be included and that we should not allow such expenses to be charged with different uh, items. And thirdly, in order to ensure proper supervision, the ICAs did all, uh, so, all uh, the uh, entertainments uh, organized by the ICA, by the Commissioner should have to be, would need to be approved by the Director of Operation and if the Commissioner and the Heads of Department would attend the same functions, then the direct, Assistant Director of the Min Department will uh, supervise whether or not such, uh, uh, whether or not there has been, uh, whether or not uh, the rate, the, the there's any uh, irregularities. Over the last 30 years, the ICAC and the public have worked together to build a clean society, and today, uh, integrity has become one of Hong Kong's core values. In order to continue to have the, sub to, to, to have the support of the community and the trust, uh, we've already uh, started to <coughs> improve upon our internal uh, compliance mechanism and to ensure that the that we will uh, make proper use of public resources. And uh, since the ICAC has already started the criminal investigation against Mr. Timothy Tong, and in order to maintain the, uh, uh, the integrity of the uh, judiciary and ensure that the investigation will not be jeopardized, my colleagues and I will answer members' questions, uh, you know, on the premise that we will not jeopardize the, uh, uh, our uh, uh, investigation. I'll uh, first of all invite uh, Mr. Paul Chair, who is responsible for this report, to to uh, uh, start. After Paul is finished, we will adjourn, and then we will invite the second witness to come in. Paul, thank you. As the uh, committee said in his opening remarks, over the last 30 years, Hong Kong has cherished the work and the contribution of the ICAC, as you've said in your speech, 98 to 99 percent of the public supports the work of the ICAC. It is exactly because the public uh, has so much support for the ICAC that while this incident does not seem to suggest that there is a serious problem, but in fact uh, 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 the implications of the incident has caused a lot of uh, uh, concern. Uh, Chairman, uh, we're only doing a, a value for money audit, especially uh, in respect of the operations of the CRD. But if we look at the authority given to the ICAC, especially if we look at the ICAC ordinance. Basically, uh, the 
powers of the ICAC are subject to restraint. It, and it has specific functions. Under 20 G and H, that is help educating the public about the, 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 uh, uh, the dangers of corruption and to en encourage public support. I think CRD is responsible for, for that. The Commissioner told us just now that uh, for owners' corporations, uh, the, uh, you need to, <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, work with them, and also the face-to-face -face meeting with the uh, members of the public. The CRD has done a lot of that previously, but in the in the present audit report, we see that there is a, a marked decline in the number of such activities. So, what has happened? Is it because of what uh, what the commissioner said earlier that your strategy has changed, our society has changed, and now we are deploying more resources on the internet, or you are adopting the train the trainer approach, or that you are adopting a more target approach, and as a result, you've overlooked the need for face-to-face -face contact. Is that the main reason, or uh, had, were there other reasons? If we look at the resources uh, of the ICAC in recent years, whether it's the allocation given to the ICAC or the expenses, uh, I think they have been going up steadily. If we look at the extract of the audit report, in 2012-2013, total expense Expenditure uh, of the IC is 8376 million, and uh, if you look at previous figures, again uh, the figures have been increasing steadily over the years. So w while resources have been increased, but you seems to be cutting down on your work uh, in respect of community relations. So I'm sure members and the public are concerned. The commissioner told us about. <coughs> uh, uh, a few changes in the strategy. Other than that, are there more deep-rooted reasons, uh, uh, more fundamental reasons uh, behind? Uh, for example, in terms of human resources deployment, uh, because of the ch uh, change in the, in the nature of work of the ICAC, had there been some uh, misdeployment of human resources? And <clears throat> did the ICAC uh, ha ha had this uh, culture of uh, uh, you know uh, shoe shining and, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, and 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 the staff are not really focusing on their uh, proper responsibilities? Well, the commissioner explained to us about the changes in strategies. Uh, uh, so, was this the reason why, uh, which caused the, the redeployment of resources, or is it for other reasons that resources have been spent on, uh, you know, responsibilities not? provided for in the law. For example, as the Commission said, since 2008, the ICAC organized many uh, uh, liaison activities between Hong Kong, Macau, and China, and also international liaison activities. And any entertainment expenses arising from those liaison activities. So there are two incidents, uh, and, and uh, since 2008, I think we, well, we all remember that Mr. Timothy Tong became the commissioner in 2008. It was 2007, uh, July 1st. Beg your pardon. Uh, thank you for that uh, correction. Starting from 2007, 2008, we have seen uh, that the <coughs> uh, interaction between Hong Kong, Macau, and the mainland have uh, become more frequent. Whether or not it's uh, visits uh, among the uh, the officials on, uh, from uh, from the three jurisdictions, uh, exhibitions, and so on. So was that a change that was uh, carefully considered beforehand, or is it because of the mm, the the the, the, the uh, you know simple examples like uh, alcohol? Uh, the commission said that the CRD had the habit of uh, buying such alcoholic drinks, but we see that this habit. Only started to, 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 to uh, well, only started from 2007 and 8. So uh, we'd like to this opportunity to uh, you know find out, uh, explore this. Overall, we would like to use the audit reports as the basis. We are not targeting against any particular individuals. As I said just now. Uh, we want to know whether or not <clears throat> what we uh, can now see is only the tip of the iceberg, or is it because 
there have been uh, you know fundamental changes in the work of the ICAC, and that we're not just looking at the tip of the iceberg, but rather there are more serious problems within the Commission. Finally, over the years, the ICAC has been the most important uh, weapon against corruption. And uh, so we would like to know whether or not uh, something has gone wrong with the Commission and uh, we would like to take this opportunity to find out the, 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 the truth. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Pei, you may now respond. And uh, uh, you may now uh, leave and uh, uh, we will uh, and we'll now adjourn for a few minutes and we invite a second witness to come in. Thank you, Mr. Pei, you may now leave.